I'm asking you, uh, and give me your reaction, is Johnson right to have done this today? I absolutely, emphatically think that he is. Well, joining me, some immediate reaction on this. Firstly, David Livermore, Professor in Medical Microbiology at the Norwich Medical School. David, good evening. Hello, good me? evening. Good evening. Pleasure to be with you, Nigel. Pleasure. Thank you. You've seen the press conference. You've seen what Boris Johnson, Sir Chris Whitty, Sir Patrick Valance have had to say. I just would like to get your immediate reaction, please. Well, it's a welcome development that finally these restrictions are being brought to an end. My view is that they should have been brought to, a, brought to an end a very, very long time ago. They're moving to a sort of focused protection protection of the vulnerable. That's what those of us who signed the Great Barrington Declaration right back in uh, October of 2020 were recommending then. What can one say? Better late than never. Uh, um, we really cannot go on as we have been. Uh, You've thanked the Tory backbenchers who mm. brought uh, pressure on the government. I would thank them too. But I would also thank the virus, which did us a massive favour in South Africa in the tail end of last year by mutating into a milder variant, which um, clearly doesn't carry the mortality risk of earlier variants. That no, that's has true. Made and, it and, but, but when we look back, David, when we take the historical sweep and we look, and, and let's hope to goodness that was the last ever COVID press conference, I mean, everything crossed. When we look back at all of this, will we view lockdown as a success or a failure of government policy? What will be, in your opinion right now, our long-term perspective on the last two years? I believe it will be viewed as a catastrophic failure. It was not part of the pre-pandemic planning. Uh, it has cost a fortune about... Uh, 400 uh, billion in debt, tax increases, inflation to pay for that. And the recent analysis by the John Hopkins University in the States suggested a minimal number of lives were saved. And that's the price also, forget the economic cost for a moment, mental health, education, other health care. Vast damage has been done by something which worldwide we went into in a panic in the uh, March of 2020. Strong words there from David Livermore. Thank you very much indeed for giving us your reaction to that press conference.